Welcome to our 7th and 8th grade middle school <laughs> concert. This piece you just heard is called Whirlwind. It's defined as any or several small masses of air rotating rapidly around more or less, ver ver less vertical axis and advancing simultaneously over land and sea as a duet, devil, tornado, or water spot. Anything resembled as a whirlwind as in a violent action or destructive force. Any circling rush or violent onward course. Whirlwind captures the energy, rapidly rotating air, and forward motion of a whirlwind, and has a ceaseless high volume of musical diversity created through a melodic and motific development and rhythmic contrast. The more sustained melody in the middle of the work represents a bit of calm prior to the return of the gale force winds. Next, we'll perform a pop hit by superstar, superstar Taylor Swift, which features a catchy melody that adapts nicely for our band. Here is Shake It Off. Monta Vista is an overture for band written by Robert W. Smith. It became one of our band favorites as we worked together on it. It starts with our clarinet section and builds from there right up until the climactic end. Here is Monta Vista.
What would a concert be like without something from Disney? A Whole New World is a song by Disney's 1992 animated feature film, Aladdin, with music from Alan Menken and lyrics from Tim Rice. The song is a ballad between the primary characters, Aladdin and Jasmine, about the new world they're going to discover together while riding on a ma Aladdin's magic car carpet. The original version was sung by Brad Kane and Leah Salonga during the film. They also perform their song in their characters at the 65th Academy Awards, where it won an award, Academy Award for the best original song, as well as the first and so far only Disney song to win a, win a Grammy Award for Song of the Year at the 36th Annual Grammy, Grammy Awards. Here is a whole new world. Our next piece, White Bell, will feature our percussionist with the ever popular drum solo you have all heard. It is also programmed tonight because a member of this band performed this some 30 years ago at the old middle school under the direction of Jerry Lazat. We will not mention any names though. Please enjoy White Bell.
I remember playing that when I was in middle school many, many years ago. I was going to introduce you to come up here before you came up here. I had to write everything down. My wife said I should read just from this rather than rambling on because I do that quite a bit if I don't have a script. I mean, the bands, you know that I do that, right? I probably do it more with the eighth graders and stuff, you know, inspiring, you know, conversations. And Oh, I'm doing it right now. All right. Um, okay, I want to take this time to invite, I'll read this, my wife in, to the stage to share program notes for our next piece, Japanese Folk Trilogy. She will read the notes in Japanese, and Daisy will translate that for you. Good evening, everyone. The three folk songs in this trilogy are Moon Song, Festival of the Dolls, and Please Come Spring. The melodies are authentically Japanese, however, the accompaniment style and harmonization are Western. This is mostly due to the influence of Luther Whitting Mason, who, at the invitation of the imperial family, went to Japan in the 1880s. Mason wa 1880年代に日本の皇室の招待を受けて日本に渡り大きくの日本の民謡を西洋スタイルで編曲しましたそれあれ日本の子供たちは同じハイブレッドスタイルを学んでいます while there, he arranged many Japanese folk songs in a Western style, and Japanese children have been learning the same hybrid styles ever since. Here is Japanese folk trilogy.
As fans of Japanese anime will know, this popula popular ballad from the television series Naruto is filled with emotional depth and poignant beauty. In part, thanks in part to Taylor Davis's solo violin cover, this tune is now reaching a much wider audience, featuring a flute solo on the melody in the beginning, and then later scored for the full band. This is a sensitive adaption. Here is Sadness and Sorrow. Follow my script. Okay. In January, we were fortunate to have a student teacher work with us. I still remember my student teaching experiment experience at Hermantown with Keith Swanson. During that time, I learned so much, but my placement time didn't line up with any concerts uh, they were doing that year. So I asked Keith, could I come back and conduct a concert? And he said yes. So I make it a point to offer all of the student teachers we have here that same opportunity to come and conduct at a concert here in Cloquet. I want to say we learned a lot from Mr. Morrison, and when we asked him if he would like to come back, he said, absolutely. So please welcome to the stage future music educator, Mr. Tegan Morrison. Eddie, I think you're up too. Our next piece is a New Zealand folk sea shanty that has been made popular again and made available for young bands featuring our low brass. Here is Wellerman.
We will finish the first part of tonight's concert with sax attack. The eighth grade band will continue after this piece. Featuring our saxophones, here is sax attack.
One of the things I like uh, for my student teachers to experience is finding and picking out appropriate material for bands. And the next piece uh, was, was one of those pieces. Um, so please welcome to the stage a piece that Mr. Morrison picked out. Mr. Morrison, again. Okay, whatever. Ignore our mistake. Okay. Welcome to the eighth grade band portion of tonight's concert. Our opener was Ralph Ward's arrangement of highlights from the Lord of the Rings. Our next piece is a March of the Irish Guards, which was originally entitled The Voice of Wexford. This melody has its roots traceable back to the year 1240. Wexford is a city and county on Ireland's southeast coast. Oliver Cromwell inflicted heavy destruction and loss of life on the city in the mid-17th century. By the 1790s, Wexford had become the headquarters of the Irish Rebellion against England. Echoes of this past are still heard today.
Our next piece consists of two popular songs by a famous music artist, Taylor Swift. You Belong With Me is a catchy, relatable song about a girl in love with her best friend. Bad Blood is full of attitude and sass. We hope you enjoy our band's version of these songs. Panther is a series of comedy films featuring an in-depth French police, off police detective, Inspector Jacques Cousseau. The series began with the release of The Pink Panther in 1963. The role of Cousseau was originated and most closely associated with Peter Sellers. Most of the films were directed and co-written by Blake Edwards with a theme music composed by Henry Mancini. In the films, The Pink Panther is a large and valuable pink diamond, which is first known with which is per first shown in the opening film in the series. This piece contains a mixture of jazz and swing music with a sophisticated rhythmic pattern that can be found throughout the whole piece.
Allegretto is an excerpt taken from the second movement of Beethoven's Symphony No. 7 in A major. This symphony was completed in 1812 and premiered in Vienna in 1813. The symphony's celebratory dance-like nature made it an immediate success to a Viennese public weary from the years of Napoleonic occupation and ready to celebrate the end of the war. The Symphony No. 7 combines both classical and romantic elements. Beethoven himself called it one of his best works. The expressive lyrical second movement, Allegretto, was especially popular and had to be encored at the premiere performance. It is often performed separately from the entire symphony. Most recently, this movement was used to underscore the climatic final scene from the, final, from the film The King's Speech. Silverbrook was designed to feature a variety of styles and emotions while exploring different combinations of instruments within the concert band. Rhythmic drive is provided primarily by the percussion section, although the brass and woodwinds also contribute pulsating figures at times. Here is Silverbrook.
Okay. <clears throat> Before our final piece, I want to take the time to thank all the students here in the seventh grade and eighth grade who have been making music. <laughs> yeah, except for the ones that were kind of talking recently. All right. In that last song, I heard you. Showing up weekly for lessons, coming, you know, into practice when time permits or when you sneak out of your classes. I've catching on to you. Your hard work does not go unnoticed. I want to thank you, the parents, friends, and family members who support these students by listening to them perform, um, helping with the rental and purchases of instruments and supplies so they can be part of ensembles like this that you're hearing tonight. I want to thank you, John Justan, for the sound and lighting tonight. You did awesome. I want to thank the administration who keeps the importance of music education in our schools. And uh, my music colleagues, Regina Romhild, Rachel Holty, Katie Bytar, Rhonda Card, and Kevin Huseth for inspiring and continuing to inspire these students in music. <laughs> and again, especially to this eighth grade class, this may be your last middle school concert. For some of you, it is your last, but remember the hard work and dedication you put into this, all right? I know, I know how much work you put into it, so thank you. We will now perform for you The Magic of Harry Potter, featuring themes from all eight Harry Potter motion pictures. This exciting piece includes Hedwig's theme, Nimbus 2000, Fox the Phoenix, Hogwarts hymn, Dumbledore's Army, Harry and Hermione, Ministry of Magic, Showdown, and Leaving Hogwarts. Thank you all for attending tonight's concert.
I'm gonna say, whoa, I'm gonna say a quick thank you for coming tonight. I'm gonna have both bands up here and it's, we didn't practice this earlier today, so we'll, it's gonna get loud, I think, right? It's a lot of kit. Oh, I'll help you. Sun up there. We thought it'd be, well, oh, can you just move this up here? 
We thought it'd be fitting to end with something from the longest running musical that closed on Broadway recently, ending a 35 year long production. Written by Andrew Lloyd Webber, The Phantom of the Opera is based off of a 1910 French novel with the same name. It follows the exploits of a masked phantom who haunts the Paris Opera and falls in love with a beautiful young soprano. Here are the 7th and 8th grade bands with The Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. 